the day after the Golden Globes, and I need to pack because I have a flight to Washington tomorrow. If you can't tell, I did uh, go to bed in my makeup last night, and I just put my hair up in this fabulous little situation, but I'm sure it's going to look great when I put it down. So I technically need to take two suitcases, which means I can really pack whatever I want because I also need to take back this suitcase because it's my parents and it's the one I brought Christmas gifts packed in. I'm gonna be up there for um, uh, two weekends this time. Normally I only stay for four, maybe five days. I'm doing 10 this time to stay for two big dance weekends back to back. But um, I kind of love that. Of course I'll do my nails pedicure, Mike and my hair trim, totally need to go to the chiropractor, trying to see all the friends, need to see everything for dance. And I'm really excited. But that's a lot of outfits for me to try and fit in the same size one I normally use for only four days. You know what I mean, girls? You know what I'm talking about. My current state, doing pretty good. Um, some sports bras are already right there. I kind of have the makeup things picked out. I'm going to add in both of these that I still haven't used. This by Terry Brightening and Estila um, Dark Brown Waterproof Liner. I'm going to take my Skims Sleep Set. Again, more makeup. Uh, I have some jewelry and stuff that's already put to the side, and I just kind of pack it around itself. It's a lot of earrings and necklaces. And I'm going to add in this pack of the jewelry that I just wore to the Golden Globes, too. Um, one workout actual set, two different leggings, um, two different tops picked out, some shorts. I'm going to just take that outfit that I didn't end up wearing to the event, so the black cargos and this silver top. I think that with my new white Air Forces will actually be like such a cool look to one of the competition days. Um, I have to take my Kate Spade backpack, which will be perfect because it'll go with this. I also need to open up my beads that Dean gave me because um, I haven't used them yet. And I think I'm going to want these on this trip. So I need to figure these out like now. Target haul. Um, I really didn't get that much, but I did get an initial Valentine's Day candy haul. Um, Cause in all honesty guys, just the candy sections are not as big in LA for whatever reason, the grocery stores are smaller. Um, but I also just think maybe it's the health thing. I don't know. But so I buy an excess anytime I'm up now. This has nothing to do with Valentine's Day, but I honestly love these and they are actually decently spicy but um, they're just really salty too. Oh, I had to get the Reese's Hearts. I did get the pink ones though, um, because festive. I got two different gummies. I am a gummy person. This one's supposed to be sweet and sour hearts, so I think that's fun. And then this is just a cute mix that has hearts and like X's and O's. I got these last year and I really liked them. They're just creme brulee hearts from Ghirardelli, but um, there's like two of them stuck together, so like that's cute. And then this is a new one that is um, raspberry cheesecake. So the outside, I think, is supposed to be the raspberry flavored chocolate. And then I'm assuming maybe they did something different uh, to um, like the truffle on the inside so that it's not just vanilla. For Hershey's chocolate, just melt away kisses. The inside's just a little bit softer than the normal chocolate. So kind of like the Lindor truffles, the inside um, just melts more. And then I did have to get a couple Alani News because I've been on my coffee game the last couple of days, but sometimes I need caffeine. It's just not a coffee bean flavor. So, yeah, and back with another shopping haul. This time I'm going into Uwajimaya? Uwaj Uwajimaya. An Asian grocery store to stock up on some snacks uh, because I have some time, just got a pedicure done. So yeah, I'll probably just do a show and share after. I think I'm pronouncing that a little bit wrong. Um, my nail tech will have to recorrect me again because I know I asked her just the other day and I'm not pronouncing it the same way. But it is this store. Quick haul because the sun is going down. Um, I'm not gonna know how to pronounce most of the things. 
but know that I've had, I think, everything in here, um, or at least a brand carrying this item. I'm sorry, I do know I love it. Um, usually I get mochi. My favorite flavor is a taro. Um, I didn't see any, so I did get these strawberry ones. This is essentially like caramel corn. However, it's not crunchy. It's really fluffy. It's like as fluffy as a cheese puff would be, but caramel corn. So they like melt like butter. I love those. Now these are, are a crunchier rice cake. Um, my battery's gonna die. These are like fish skin chips. A lot of people find these gross. I love these. This is a chicken flavored wide ramen snack. It's gonna die, it's gonna die. Spicy prawn chips. Um, they always usually sell these like Hawaiian chocolates. These are the matcha flavored macadamia covered cups. I did get some small boxes of these rice candies that are individually wrapped. They're like almost like they taste like nothing, but I love them and I think they're really, really fun. And then did get a couple of Hawaiian Suns as well. So a little random there at the end. But um, yeah, I think my total was like 34 or something. So, and honestly, eight of that was the like fish skin chips. But those are truffle flavored, so they're so savory. Love them. It's like the splurge item of the bunch. day two but really day three because we had nothing on day one it's 7 30 in the morning minis start at eight Mackenzie's getting caffeine bless and me and Hannah are here with some of the noodles getting ready to start this day's a full day I honestly might even have to miss some of it because you know a normal comp on Sunday I feel like winds down around like five or six so I got a flight for like eight but I'm, uh, yeah.